he says and on the service in a few days we're going to put his motorbike on the back of the ute so it goes to the um, service i said to him why don't you put him on the back of the ute instead of the motorbike Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying To Know? Because Trish is dying. I am. Yes. So um, we're in the mortuary again. We're going to talk about personalised funerals. Okay. And particularly one that we just did recently. Right. So not in an ads kind of way, not, but just in an interesting, um, unusual things people request yeah. at their funerals kind of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you had one recently. We did, yeah. It was a, a young boy, I say boy in his 20s, that um, tragically died um, in a, an accident out with a friend uh, and it was not far from here, local, and he drowned out in the ocean, accidental. His family have given us permission to chat about him. They've given us permission to use the footage we took because the family were lovely, they were gorgeous and said, even though he had a young life, he was, you know, a little bit of a, a, a little devil, loved his life and everybody loved him and he was a little larrikin as the saying. We had a viewing with dad and his brother uh, and we're outside of the funeral home here and we were just chatting, chatting, chatting and um, his dad said, oh, this is his youth his pride and joy. He says, and on the service in a few days, we're gonna put his motorbike on the back of the ute so it goes to the um, service with him. And I went, well, that's a really good idea. And then I thought, hmm. I said to him, why don't you put him on the back of the ute instead of the motorbike? So the coffin? The coffin, yeah. yeah. And they went, oh, okay. And then now I had a discussion with my boss and we all got together and they went, what a great idea. And I went, oh, I didn't realise we could do anything so personal for, you know, my son, which would is ideal because it's his youth, it's his pride and joy and to, to travel in his youth to his funeral and to his last resting place. The dad and the brother were just, just overjoyed that they could actually do this and they were like, oh my God, that's amazing. So that's where it stemmed from and we said to the um, dad, Make sure you bring you to in the morning of the service and we'll detail it. Boys will detail it and get it all spick and span and um, we'll load on to the back of the ute when he's ready to go. So that's what you did. So you, obviously yeah. you just had to take into consideration that you had the right strapping and that everything yeah, was yeah, secure. Yeah, and then Dad wanted to uh, drive the ute still and we said, yeah, that's not a problem. We'll just have the hearse in front to do a cortege. And also there was a lot of motorbikes want to be there in other uh, vehicles and utes. So the hearse was there just to guide and keep their pace because there's a pace you have to go, you know, when you're carrying a deceased in, the, in, a, in a hearse. So we wanted to keep it the same. As and part of a funeral as, procession. Yes. Overjoyed that they could give their son that personal, personal, you know, that was definitely for him and dad and brother were just, you know, they were very happy that we could do that. And a gorgeous family, so they were. It's so sad. Can you, it um, is sad. Can you think sad. of other examples of things like that that you've been able to do for people? Yeah, I've had uh, a lot of um, coffins gone out on a sidecar, on a motorbike, on the side. There's special motorbikes that have um, special um, fittings, basically the same as what's in the back of the hearse, you know, the roller, it locks on and the coffin locks on to the, so instead of having your sidecar that you sit in, it's just a long tray basically, yeah, to put the uh, coffin on and it's secured on, so it's locked on. So when we did the young guy a few weeks ago, we um, got out and went out and bought, you know, proper strap in so we could strap the coffin and everything and we have some footage we can pop in somewhere. I've already popped that in. Yeah, so almost. Dad and brother got involved too. So you used ratchet straps, didn't you? Yes. The ones that. Yes. 
yes yep. we did and dad um, was helping and brother was helping so everybody came and it was like that's very the, therapeutic for them too I it think it was and I think it was good for the family because they were like oh you know how how most people think you give it to the funeral directors and you think you have no input standoffish and yeah, yeah and you are in the background and we turned up with a hearse in the coffin when really this family were in in doing everything helping us mm. do everything so i think it gives them a good closure yeah you know for losing such a young guy mm. in yeah. tragic circumstances and yeah it was quite emotional and the parent service went off lovely and the family were just delighted That's that they got lovely. what they wanted yeah. you know so personal touches i went to one once years ago yeah exactly. there was um a truck driver and i went in my former life as a journalist uh -huh. and the family had called the newspaper and said you might want to come and take photos of this yeah and when i turned up it was um it wasn't in queensland it was elsewhere in australia and it was a um prime mover so a semi-trailer but you know how they've got that squidgy little bit on the back yeah. when they don't have a, when they don't have the, a um, container on it a or a load. Yeah. Um, and so what they'd done was they actually strapped Dad, who was a truck driver's coffin, upright to the back of the cab. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, wow. So sort of vampire style if you would have opened the door, I guess. Wow. So it was like that, yeah. Yeah, so, I've um, had ones on trucks, but not like that. You yeah. should flash on there. No, they um, did that, and then they drove him to his service, and wow. then to the to the burial site like that, That's which cool. I thought was really interesting. That's another very personal thing as well. Horse and cart. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, yeah. horse and cart. Very British traditional horse yeah. and cart. Oh, okay, right. With a big, um, you know, the what do you call them horses with the long hairs around like the, the ankle? Clydesdale. Yeah, the big the Clydesdale big horses, the big ones with the uh, so old-fashioned coach. Yeah, that that was gorgeous. Wow. What else? Is anything different? Uh, I suppose not just the mode of transport, but the colour of the coffins. Mm. We've had all kinds of coffins. So you can actually things. have them skinned now, like you can yeah. a car, can't yeah. you? So I've had coffins that are bright pink, bright orange, black, blue, green, yellow. And like you say, we can get them wrapped with their own personal photographs. I've had lots with um, all the photos of the life all the way through around the coffin and on the lid. Um, plain uh, cardboard white ones that people write on. We um, have plain coffins where First Nations people will take them home and do all their art on them. I like that, the handprints the hand and the splatters. And yeah. splatters oh, and wow. the dots and nice. the, you know, in some of the artworks. I've had quite a few like that. I've been phenomenal and again that must be quite therapeutic for them to actually get involved in yeah, the process absolutely mm. and we've had homemade coffins brought in oh really yeah out of timber yeah, <laughs> yeah. just got my little project out in the back yeah. shed yeah and um it was about six or seven months ago um i went to pick up um, a gentleman from a home transfer and i was talking to the family and he was a car lover and built cars and he had built his own coffin as well but unfortunately it was two meters long so it was far too long for any it Aww. wouldn't fit anywhere in a cr any cremator anywhere because it was too long so they said they were going to make that into a flower bed oh <laughs> that's sweet so they had to yeah, just get a normal timber one which they painted themselves so yeah so personalized in lots of different ways so the mode of transport your coffins what goes inside a coffin yeah as well. so we've talked before about that yeah, photos yeah, artifacts yeah, yeah, you know teddy bears things. yeah christmas uh, presents yeah most things can go in uh if you've been buried but if you've been cremated we have to be wary of glass and batteries and things like that but most things can go in so okay. yeah interesting so yeah. give that some thought people yes yes might personal wanna... touch Put your personal wishes down on paper and make sure someone knows about them if you've yeah. got something particular that you would like. Yeah. yeah I knew a lady once who um, who took her husband home um, and had him home at night on a property, but took him home in the back of the ute. Yeah. Yeah. His own ute. So they did the driving and yeah. just took him home and spent the night with him at home and yeah. then brought him back to the funeral home the next day. Yeah. Yeah. I think just down um, we have a flashback to the one we did with Charles. Oh, yeah. um, I remember uh, when he was talking about the, um, the Maori tradition and they took his dad, remember, on the back of the youth to the pub? Yeah, remember? that's right, they yeah, did too. Yeah, so we did that one, so sweet. sweet so. Hi, Chaz, yes. if you're Hi, watching. Hi, Chaz, <laughs> yes. yes. All right, well, that's interesting. Thanks, Trace, and thanks for yes. that footage that you shot while the boys were doing yes. all of that. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah.
yeah and um, thanks to the family for allowing yeah, us to do definitely. that very special and thank you and you know as we're still thinking about you my heart still goes out young boy very young thanks guys all right so if anyone's got any questions please yes. send them in um go check out our website i've got to write a new blog i'm um, i'm due for one so yeah. we're about to sit down and have a chat about some topics yeah if you've got any ideas you want me to write a blog on send those in too yeah check the website out and you know there's merch on there too we have merch <laughs> check it out till next time Take see care. you guys bye bye, bye. Thank you.